Hello everybody, in this lesson I'm going to explain the use of adjective clauses and it's also called relative clauses. So you're gonna find in different books maybe as adjective or maybe as relative clauses, okay? So the thing is that the, these relative or adjective clauses give us information about the noun or it modifies the noun and it also defines the noun, okay? So, in order to construct these uh, adjective clauses, we need to use the relative pronouns. They are who, that, which, whom, whose, where. Okay, we use whom for people and uh, when it goes as a subject of the clause. And we also use that, but the, we use that also for people, but it's more common to use it for things or for animals and he will have which that it's uh, also we use it with uh, things or animals and home it works or it functions as object and we use it for people and whose it shows possession and we use it uh, to show to demonstrate possession that something belongs to someone and where for places okay so let's start we have that adjective clauses are divided in into rest restricted clauses and non-restricted clauses. So the different is the difference is that restricted restricted clauses is about necessary information. So here we're going to use information that is necessary for the clause. And here we are not going to use uh, this information. We can omit this information. It can be or cannot be necessary in the clause. So I'm going to get into more into deeply in the restrictive clauses. So we have, we use these clauses in order to to join or to get together two independent clauses. For example, Carlos is a reporter. He was in the national strike. Here we have two independent clauses. So we're gonna make them just one clause, one sentence. As here we have, Carlos is a reporter who, who was in the national strike. We join them together and construct just one sentence or one clause that is called an adjective clause. And we use the relative pronoun who. So if, um, if someone asks us, so who is Carlos? And we're gonna say, the one who was in the national strike, or, or for example, who was in the national strike? It was Carlos, okay? And this, in the second one we have, I am enjoying the band that is playing right now. So I am using the relative pronoun that, and it's providing information about the, the band, the band. And in the third clause we have, this is the university, which offers many scholarships. So here I'm using which, okay? And I'm talking about the university. And the in the last one we have, he is the boy whose dog was found this morning. Here we're expressing possession, whose, okay? And this is the relative pronoun. We are saying that the dog that was found in the morning belongs to this boy, okay? And then we have the non-restrictive clauses. As I already explained, here we use unnecessary information, okay? We are just adding extra information about the noun. And we are going to use commas. This extra information is going to be between commas right for example carlos comma who was in the national strike is now in prison okay this is the extra information who was in the national strike now as i already said this information can be omitted it's up to you and the sentence or the clause is going to be uh, it's going to make sense as well for example Carlos is now in prison. 
it does make sense okay so i hope you enjoyed the video and you understand maybe you have questions just let me know thank you